Hi guys, okay, I thought we would continue our study in 1 Corinthians 13. This particular one, I'm gonna park it at verse seven for this particular um, section. Verse seven is so packed with treasures that we're really gonna break this down during this study. But I wanna read it in uh, context, so I'm gonna go back a little bit. Charity suffereth long and is kind, charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Now remember, charity is agape love, which only exists in this, the, uh, the regenerated spirit of the born again believer. It does not exist in the flesh. Continuing on, doth not, referring to charity, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Verse 7, this is where we're going to park it today. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. And just to have it in context, I'll read the one verse afterwards. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. So, re referring to charity, agape love, which only exists in the regenerated spirit of the born-again believer, verse 7, that agape love, charity, beareth all things, charity believeth all things, charity hopeth all things charity endureth all things so we're going to break this down okay so beareth all things we're going to come in here stego that's the greek word for beareth it comes from that word which is four seven two one so we're going to go to this one, 4721, which is stege, 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 stege. Um, it means strengthened from a primary tegos, like a thatch or a deck of a building. Um, let's see. Sorry, guys, like a, a roof of a house. So you think about the roof of a house. It bears the weather. It, 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 it hides you against the weather and the elements. So it bears that so that you within that are protected. Okay. Um, this word also is related to this word. Stay go. Wait a minute. Right. This is the, sorry guys. This is the root of the word stay go, which means to bear it. Okay. All right. So think about the protection that the roof of a house gives you. I hope this makes sense to you guys. I'm sorry. So the outline of biblical usage, a deck, thatch, to cover, to protect or keep by covering, to preserve, to cover over with silence, to keep secret, to hide, conceal, I think of protecting, um, by covering to keep off something which threatens, to bear up against, like the roof of a house, to bear up against, to hold out against, and so endure, to bear, to forbear. All right. According to, to uh, Thayer's Greek lexicon, the way that beareth is used in that verse is this way by covering to keep off like again the roof of a house something which threatens to bear up against oh my gosh i'm just oh wow y'all this is amazing oh my gosh i'm just remembering somebody's dream that contained a house that offered protection against an attack that was going to happen outside the house oh wow this is so god is so good y'all god is so good Wow, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, to hold out against and so to endure, to bear or forbear. Um, and 1 Corinthians 13, 7. So that is breaking that part down. 
Now, we're going to go continue to go forward. Believeth all things. Okay? Believeth all things. This is called, uh, I don't even, uh, how do you say, Pis, pistuo, for believeth, is a verb. It's from, the, whatever that word is, um, from that word. So we're going to go to this word. All right, so the root the root word is pistis, pistis, and that is going to be from, from whatever that word is. So we're going to find out the root of this word. Okay. The root of that word is, how do you say that word? Patho, patho, it's a verb. All right, so online and biblical usage is to persuade, to persuade, to induce one by words, to believe, to make friends of, to win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win one, to strive to please one. This is the Holy Spirit, the only one that can convict someone of righteousness, that can convict someone or show someone and reveal the truth of who Jesus is and be able to persuade that person's heart to believe fully on the finished redemptive work of Jesus on the cross is the Holy Spirit. Okay? Um, so yes, the Holy Spirit leads you, persuades you in and towards righteousness. So that's the, the very bottom line root word. So this word is the root of this word, um, pistis. And again, we're going to break this down. Conviction, right? Conviction of the truth of anything, belief in the New Testament of a conviction or belief respecting man's relationship to God and divine things. Again, the Holy Spirit is the only one who can do this. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Um, it, respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, especially the hidden things of Christ, which only the Holy Spirit can reveal. The carnal mind cannot understand that. Generally with the included area, <clears throat> excuse me, of trust and holy fervor, born of faith and joined with it. That's de that is Holy Spirit, okay? All righty. Um, relating to God, it's going to go further. I'm just breaking this down. We're really breaking it down today. We're digging deep, guys. We are mining the, the word of God today. One verse. Relating to God, the conviction that God exists and is the creator and ruler of all things, the provider and bestower of eternal salvation through Christ. Relating to Christ, a strong and welcome conviction or belief that Jesus is the Messiah, amen, through whom we obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom of God. All right, so all, look, look at the, my side note here. My side note, all the work of, you see that? All the work of, Holy Spirit. That's my side note here. Now, of course, this, this word is the root word of pistio, which is believeth. Okay, so now we're going to break this. Now that we've gone through the, we really, we have really broken down the word pistio to know that it is the Holy Spirit. It is talking about the Holy Spirit that persuades, that leads someone to truth. To be, You cannot believe on Jesus without and unless the Holy Spirit reveals the reality of him to you. Okay, so believeth all things. All right. Um, is in the, According to Greeks, Thayer's, Thayer's Greek lexicon, Pistios is used in an ethical sense of confidence in the goodness of men. Okay, this means the... Okay, so we need to think about this, the goodness of men. We got to take this in context, remember? Context is everything. So, 
actually this is talking about the witness of the spirit in others when you are born again and regenerated and you hear someone speak truth from the word of god the holy spirit in you will bear witness to that person's teaching or truth so this is talking about the witness of the spirit in others the holy spirit so i'm going to share with you guys this okay so the witness of the spirit and others romans 7 18 for i know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing okay this is pointing to the fact that the regenerated spirit believes not the, excuse me the regenerated spirit believes however not our flesh so the regenerated spirit believes but the flesh does not believe okay so you're not believing in people based on the flesh. You are letting the Holy Spirit bear witness in you to give you discernment to test whether or not what others are talking about is, in fact, scriptural absolute truth. In Romans 8, 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. 1 John 5, 10, he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. Romans 9, 1, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bury me witness in the Holy Ghost. Acts 5, 32, and we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. Okay? So now that we have broken all of that down, we're going to keep going. Hopeth all things. Okay, we're going to break this down. Hopeth. Uh, el piso. El, el piso. Hopeth. It is from this word, and we're going to find out what this word is. Bear with me, guys. Elpis. Uh, much more frequent in the classics and always the New Testament in a good sense. Expectation of, a, of good, of hope. And in the Christian sense, joyful and confident. Remember the book of Hebrews. Confident expectation of eternal salvation. Confident expectation. For the, to declare, to heal your conscience, you go boldly to the throne of Jesus in confidence knowing he will heal your conscience, knowing that your flesh is dead and crucified and held in the place of death on the cross. Okay, so we're going to go back to El Piso for hopeth, all right? Outline of biblical usage, to hope in a religious sense, to wait for salvation with joy and full confidence. Hopefully the trusting, we are hoping we are anticipating we are confidently because of hebrews we are confidently awaiting the arrival of our bridegroom and the way it's used in this verse according to thayer's greek lexicon means to trust to the only for refuge to wait to hope to hope in a religious sense to wait for salvation with joy and full of confidence we are waiting for jesus to save us from the hour of trial, meaning the tribulation. So in that sense, salvation, we are already saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. This is talking about we are waiting for salvation with joy that Jesus is coming. He is going to come and whisk us away to save us, to allow a way for us to escape the hour of trial, the tribulation, when we are raptured. Okay, so these are some verses of that blessed hope. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. 1 John 3, 2 and 3. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Verse 3, 
and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure talking about positional truth Philippe, excuse me Philippians um, 3 20 and 21 for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the Savior conversation here means municipal duties municipal um, responsibilities citizenship for our citizenship is in heaven that's what that means from whence also we look for the Savior the Lord Jesus Christ who shall change our vile body our vile I mean you know uh, I mean our flesh is dead and is God is going to give us a glorified body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body sorry guys I think I cut a little bit of that off unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is even able to subdue all things unto himself these verses are all pointing to Jesus Jesus is a God by love charity is Jesus Jesus is truth so without Jesus you don't have truth without Jesus you don't have charity agape love so th these things are only existing in the regenerated spirit of the believer not the flesh moving on endureth all things okay we're gonna break this down all right um, endure um, it's a verb. We're going to, and it's, um, hype, hypomino, hypomino, endureth. So we're going to quickly go to the, to the broken down versions. We're going to go to, to, uh, we're going to go to this one first on the left and then, and then we're going to go to the Strong's number on the right. Okay. So this number on the left hypo okay it's a primary position by or under okay and oops i'm sorry guys whoops i'm so sorry uh endureth all things okay well i'm sorry guys i'm trying to make this bigger so that we can read I'm sorry guys, please forgive me. Um, okay. And the other is Mino, um, which is a root word to remain, abide, in reference to a place, to sojourn, to tarry, not to depart, to continue to be present, to be held, kept continually, in reference to time. This is talking about resting in Jesus. Jesus is our place where we abide in Him. He is the place where we abide. He is the place that we do not depart from. He is the place that we sojourn, that we tarry, that we continue to be present, to be held, kept continually. It's in Jesus. So now that we've broken down, endureth into those things, we're going to go back to the, to the word hypomino, knowing that it's made up of the word resting in Jesus by or under, under his protection, under, under his wings. So knowing that the word is already have those two components built into it, we're going to talk about what this word means. To remain, to tarry behind, like the Holy Spirit um, was given to us as we tarry here waiting for our bridegroom to remain to abide not to recede or flee perfect love casteth off all fear right in perfect love there is no fear a to persevere under misfortunes and trials to hold fast to one's faith in christ you can't do that in your flesh only jesus could do that in your spirit b to endure bear bravely and calmly ill treatments okay Strong's translate this as endure, take patiently, tarry behind, abide, patient, suffer. Strong's definition, um, to stay under, to remain, figuratively to undergo, to bear trials, have fortitude, persevere, abide, endure, take patient, suffer, tarry behind. All of this is, is pointing to Jesus. 
He's the only one that can do this through you. And he can only do that if you're resting in him. All right? Um, to endure, bear bravely and calmly ill treatment. Okay, so according to Bayer's Greek lexicon, this is the way the word is used. To, be, to endure, to bear bravely and calmly, absolutely ill treatment. You can only do that by hiding yourself in Christ, resting in Christ. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. Yeah. With an accusative of the thing. I don't know what the accusative is. I'm not a linguist. I haven't studied biblical languages. So I don't know what that means. But I just know what's talking about in Christ, resting in Christ. Okay. So that's endureth all things. So we have broken everything down. Beareth all things. Think about a house. You, you, Jesus is our house that we abide within, that we hide ourselves in from attacks that are aimed at us on the outside, okay? As long as we stay in the house, we will not be attacked. As long as we rest in Jesus, even if people are trying to, to attack us, we will not be affected. Okay, and how, so that's, um, that was beareth all things, believeth all things, the regenerated flesh, excuse me, the regenerated spirit believes, not our flesh. It's talking, this is all about the Holy Spirit who enables belief, okay? The Holy Spirit points towards Jesus. Hopeth all things, this is talking about our blessed hope, and endureth all things. So it's all about hiding in Christ beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. To me, this has resting all over it. And I'm sorry we just did one verse today, but that one verse is so rich. I mean, it, it's all about Jesus and resting in him. You don't do anything to conjure up these things. No, you rest in Christ and Christ does it through you. It's, it's an effortless thing. So, Lord, I just pray you will take this message. I pray that you will use it. I pray that you will bless those, the hearers of the word. Yes, faith, Holy Spirit, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you will glorify yourself through this message in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi guys, I'm adding an addendum to the to the previous video. So I wanted to read to you in this, also in this tool that really breaks it down, verse seven. Um, I mean, it's a linear, but not only is it linear, it is sub-linear. It really breaks it down. Okay, so I'm gonna read it from this to give it the different, this gives it a different flavor as well. So, so remembering everything that that verse is meaning right resting in christ pointing towards christ this is all right this is what this says all is excluding or foregoing all is believing all is expecting all is under remaining so i just thought that was very interesting um but i love this little tool it really um you know, if you really wanted to get down to the nitty gritty, you could, I mean, it has all this information in there. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't study biblical languages, but it's, 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 it's very interesting. Um, anyway. All right. God bless.